Kicking it off at number five, we have Farah Abraham. Farah, who is famous for her volatile outburst, is a long-standing member of MTV's hit show, Teen Mom. I love that show. In January of 2015, Farah undertook surgery to plump up her pal with a lip injection, but things swiftly went wrong. After a doctor injected her lips with a numbing product, her top lip reportedly tripled in size after suffering an unforeseen allergic reaction. Now, Farah explained that she was grateful for her life and went on to say, as soon as he touched my lip, I was having an allergic reaction right away. I'm just super happy that I'm alive. She later told Twitter that the experience had scared her away from future procedures. Well, it didn't scare me either. Coming in at number four, we have the unfortunate story of Kelly Johnson. The modeling industry is, I'm going to say it, pretty crazy. There is a huge amount of pressure on young models to look a certain way. And that's exactly what happened to Kelly, who'd been modeling since she was just 10 years old. At the age of 16, Kelly was told by a photographer that she'd never make it in the industry without a nose job. Sadly, she took his advice. Immediately after the surgery, Kelly knew that something was wrong. Her fears were later verified when she found a piece of cartilage sticking out of her nose. The doctor explained to her that it was swelling, but sadly, the damage was already done. A year later, the doctor offered to fix the damage for free, and Kelly accepted. At first, his repair seemed to have slightly worked, but a week or two later, Kelly's nose started leaning to the left. Sadly, Kelly gave up on her modeling career. Next up at number three, we have the bizarre story of Sahar Tabar. Now, there's a lot of twists and turns with this tale, so just stick with me. In 2017, Sahar, a 19-year-old teenager from Iran, shocked Instagram with her bizarre series of selfies. Sahar claimed that she had undertaken over 50 surgeries to look exactly like her idol, Angelina Jolie. The 19-year-old had also stated that she'd been on a strict diet, bringing her weight down to just 40 kilograms, which is critically unhealthy, just to look like Angelina. Pretty sure she's not that skinny. The post went viral and took the internet by storm. Many took to Instagram branding her a zombie and saying that her transformation was borderline insanity. She'd even started wearing blue contact lenses just to mimic Angelina's eyes. But this is where things get interesting. Not everyone was convinced by Sahar's story. They doubted whether Sahar had actually undertaken the surgeries, with some studying her Instagram post and claiming that she had clearly photoshopped them. And, well, Later the same year, it turned out she'd done exactly that. Sahar told the press that she'd done the whole thing just to amuse herself. She said, I can see that I have something in common with Angelina Jolie, but I amuse myself, and to look like someone is not my goal. Well, you had everyone fooled for a pretty long time, Sahar. Good job. Bringing it in at number two, we have the story of the second human Ken doll. How is there two? Kelso Santibanes. Kelso, a Brazilian teenager who was 20 at the time, lived his entire life with a passion for dolls and puppets. At the age of 16, Kelso won a local modeling contest, and it started in him a desire to look like Mattel's iconic child's toy, the Ken doll. Over a four-year period, Kelso spent a staggering $40,000 on plastic surgery, all to turn himself into a human version of Barbie's boyfriend. He had four operations on his nose, chin, and jaw, as well as silicon implants in his his chest. Kelso was a doll enthusiast since he was a young boy and claimed that his family had always told him that he'd look like a doll, which inspired him to become a human puppet. Sadly, shortly after launching his own line of Kelso dolls, the Ken doll lookalike fell tragically ill. He was diagnosed with cancer after treating infections caused by hydrogel fillers injected into his legs. He passed away in June 2015. And finally, at the number one spot, we have Mauricio Galdi. Born in 1988, originally in Italy, Mauricio Galdi is a Brazilian actor and TV host who claimed to be the original Brazilian Ken doll. How are there so many Ken dolls? There's like 12 in Brazil alone. Again, similar to Kelso's story, Mauricio claims that his obsession with being a doll began in his early childhood. At the age of 17, Mauricio began a series of surgeries that would eventually lead him to become the Brazilian human. Ken. Over the past 10 years, Mauricio has claimed to have had only 15 surgeries. These include chest implants, arm implants, four nose jobs, and liposuction. And he says that he isn't insecure about his appearance. Well, 
You do you, bud. In 2016, he controversially ignored doctors' warnings to not have two ribs removed, which they warned would be far too dangerous to perform. Instead, he went ahead with the gruesome surgery, all in the pursuit to resemble his beloved plastic dog. In our number five spot, Donatella Versace. I feel wrong even putting her on this list, as we all know she's an incredible fashion designer. But the face doesn't lie. I mean, she was just so beautiful before all of the surgeries. Donatella is a Versace Italian fashion designer. Bow down to that. As I'm sure many of you know, she is the vice president of Versace Group and is the chief designer. Like I said, bow down. But with being in the fashion industry, eyes are constantly on you and there's so much pressure to look amazing. Since 2002, Donatella has had many surgeries, such as breast implants, laser resurfacing, filler in her lips, cheeks and forehead, and of course, Botox. It might just be me, but I think she looked much better before all of these surgeries. In at number four, Tara Reid. Most of you probably recognize Tara from the hit American Pie movies where she played beautiful blonde Vicky. She's also been on Days of Our Lives and Scrubs, but since her American Pie days, she has had some work done. It didn't turn out so well, and she pretty much became the poster girl for botched boob jobs and horrible liposuction. In 2004, she went under the knife and came out with bumpy breast scars and horrible stomach ripples. She received so much backlash that in 2006, she went under the knife again for reconstructive surgery, and then in 2009, she posed for Playboy to show off her fixed plastic surgery. In at number three, Jocelyn Waldenstein. These days, Jocelyn is known as a New York socialite, and she is known for her excessive of facial surgeries. In 1997, she married into an extremely wealthy art dealing family, and it was then she began experimenting with plastic surgery. It's been assumed that over the years, she's had a number of procedures done, some of which include cheek implants, facelifts, and lip fillers, all of which ended up costing her a total of $4 million. I'm sorry, I don't mean to judge, but $4 million and you look like that? No thank you. And I know I'm not alone in this, as many people refer to her as the Bride of Wildenstein, or or the cat woman due to her feline like eyes. Coming in at number two spot, Michael Jackson. Now, while he is the king of pop and lives on in our hearts forever, I had to add him onto this list because I know if I didn't, a lot of you would probably be like, why isn't Michael Jackson on this list? Now, while he was an amazing singer and songwriter and turned into a global figure, he did go under the knife. Towards the end of his life, he was known for constantly changing his appearance. And it's said that he's had over 100 surgeries in his lifetime. And in at our number one spot, Amanda Lepore. Those lips, girl, wow. That is above and beyond those Kylie Jenner lips. Amanda is known for being one of the most famous transsexual celebrities in the world. And clearly, she's had a lot of work done, such as three breast augmentations, butt implants, a nose job, forehead lift, brow bone reduction, hip enlargement, and liquid silicone injected into her lips. That's a whole lot of fake. But what puts all of that to shame is the fact that she's actually went as far as to having her bottom ribs broken in order to get into a smaller waist size. And that's why she gets our number one spot. That is just nuts. Starting off at our number five spot, Michael Jackson. Now we all know Michael Jackson is absolutely amazing and he was extremely talented. But before his passing, he had multiple procedures done and he admitted to suffering from BDD, which stands for Body Dysmorphic Disorder, which is basically a psychiatric condition that makes it impossible to see oneself as others do. As a result, people who suffer from this disorder then go to extremes such as getting plastic surgery to alter their appearance. They do this in a misguided attempt to correct what they view as a defect. So as we know, Michael Jackson made some huge huge changes such as whittling down his nose, lightening his skin even though this was started due to a skin condition, a chin implant, and lip augmentation. Michael was a great looking guy to begin with, so a lot of doctors blame BDD for his multiple surgeries. And they believe this all started after he developed vitiligo, which is a long term skin condition characterized by patches of the skin losing their pigment. As we know in Michael's youth, his skin color was a medium brown. However, in the mid 1980s, his skin gradually grew paler due to this condition. And after this began happening, the surgery started. In at number four, Toby Sheldon. Now, while his appearance isn't that frightening, his backstory sure is. So Toby decided it would be a good idea to spend over $100,000 on plastic surgery so that he could look like Justin Bieber. But let's be honest, he doesn't look anything like Justin Bieber. So Toby has had over a dozen procedures, but what exactly did he get done? Well, he's had over six hair transplants, filler under his eyebrows, upper eyelid skin removal, surgery on his upper lip, 
lip corners, and lower lip to achieve a smile like Bieber's, his chin shaved, as well as lasers, injectables, and Botox. He says he doesn't regret any of the surgeries he's had and views his new look as a success. Toby says he always wanted to change his appearance, and that when he finally found his surgeon, that's when Justin Bieber was skyrocketing in popularity. He said Justin had the hairstyle he wanted, and that overall he just thought he was a really good looking guy and decided that's who he wanted to look like. Personally, I think he looked better before all the surgeries, but hey, to each his own. At number three, Heidi Montag. Now, with Heidi, it's not so much her post plastic surgery pictures that will scare you as much as it's finding out all of the things that she got done. This girl underwent 10 cosmetic surgeries in one day. I don't even know how that's legal. After her surgeries, her end result didn't look scary, but she definitely didn't look natural at all. She basically looked like she was made out of plastic and she looked like a Barbie doll, but not in a good way. She just looked really unhealthy and fake. On a post surgery episode of her show's The Hills, Heidi admitted to getting a mini brow fill Botox in her forehead, a nose job revision, fat injected into her cheeks, a chin reduction, neck liposuction, her ears pinned back, a second breast augmentation, liposuction on her waist, hips, and inner thighs, and butt augmentation. And all of this was done at the extremely young age of 23 years old. After the show ended, Heidi admitted that she regretted going under the knife all of those years ago, and if she could go back, she wouldn't have done it. As it stands now, she's gone back to a more natural way of living and doesn't plan on going under the knife again anytime soon. And she wouldn't recommend it to anyone else. I'm just thinking whoever her doctor was was obviously consumed by money because to not only recommend but perform all of those surgeries on a 23 year old is just not right. I think before anyone undergoes something this extreme, they should have to see a psychiatrist first just to make sure they're somewhat in an okay headspace. Coming in at number two, Donatella Versace. She's one of the best fashion designers in the world. Old, but when she went under the knife, something went wrong. I guess it's true what they say, money can't fix all your problems. Before plastic surgery, she looked great, very natural. But I guess being a fashion icon and getting older can bring on a lot of pressure for you to look a certain way. One of the first things you notice that's different about Donatella now than before is her lips. She now has a very overly plump upper lip, and her lower lip is slightly larger than it used to be as well. Lately, her skin also almost appears waxy, so some doctors are saying that that could be a result of getting too many laser treatments. Basically, she's being referred to as a living wax figure. Years ago, she attributed her once flawless skin to taking care of her skin with tons of cream. She also admitted to using a little bit of Botox here and there. And in at number one, Jocelyn Wildenstein. Over the years, Jocelyn has been referred to as the poster child for plastic surgery gone wrong. In her youth, she was beautiful. Here's a before picture, and here's what she looks like now. Night and day, they don't even look like the same person. And then it was reported that she underwent dozens of plastic surgery procedures in an attempt to win back her husband. It's expected that she's undergone a brow lift, facelift, lip plumping injections, chin augmentation, fat grafting, and or cheek implants, upper and lower eyelid surgery, as well as a procedure that elevates the eyes to give them that cat-like appearance. It's said that for all of these surgeries, she has spent over $4 million. Due to her massive change in appearance, she was given the nickname Catwoman and Bride of Wildenstein. She, however, says that she loves the way she currently looks and has no regrets when it comes to any of her surgeries. 